everyone, this is Tammy Douglas with the Oviedo Chicks, and today I'm here with Roy Biancalana, who is a relationship coach. I had the pleasure of meeting Roy a few months back at a conference, and he has recently authored a book called A Drink With Legs, which is about relationships and, and life stories and uh, extremely entertaining and enlightening to read. Um, after reading it, I feel like I'm your new best friend. <laughs> um, but I was wondering if you could tell our audience, how did this idea for the book come about, Roy? The book came about because I had um, a history of bad relationships. I was married for 19 years and that, that didn't really work out, um, to say the least. And I immediately got into a rebound relationship for about two and a half years and uh, you know um, fell madly in love with this woman we got engaged and then she broke off the relationship and it completely destroyed me um, so from there I, I did the wise thing which is I got on the internet and I dated everybody in the world other than maybe you <laughs> and uh, that created all kinds of drama and problems so I had a, just a series of heartbreaking painful drama filled relationships mm -hmm. And I got to a point that after all that pain, it took me a while to kind of wise up, and I began to realize that maybe the problem wasn't with the women. Maybe I was the common denominator in all of this. And so a friend of mine recommended a coach who lived in California, and I hired her, and I basically said, so what's the matter with me? You know, why am I creating one bad relationship after another? Mm -hmm. And so I spent about two years working with her because I had a lot of issues. And, and through that process, discovered that that I had like a relationship addiction and that the word addiction is very polarizing it's a, it's a nasty word but what I just discovered was that I was needing the affection and the attention of a woman to make me feel like a man to make me feel alive whole complete so to put it in um, codependent yeah, yeah that would be the technical term um, the more common term would be the old uh, Jerry Maguire you complete mm -hmm. me thing the idea that I need a partner to make me happy or secure or special to alleviate my loneliness, all that. So I really discovered the reason why my relationships were so bad was because I was asking them not to be just my life partner, but my life source. And when you ask a person to really be there for you and to meet your emotional needs, as much as we all think that's what a relationship is supposed to be, it isn't. But if you, if you look for a person to take care of your emotional needs, they're always going to let you down in some way. They're human beings. Mm -hmm. They have other concerns and other issues. They have their own issues. So my drama came from was when, when the woman in my life wasn't meeting my needs for attention and affection and all of that. And that created all these problems. So I, you know, I was working with my coach at this time. And, and after that, that woman who I was engaged to broke up with me and I was just distraught. You know, she said, you know, she said, Roy, I think, I think you were addicted to her. And I was like, because I was having like withdrawal symptoms mm -hmm. is what it felt like to me. And my, you know, heart beating and I couldn't sleep and all these things. And so she went out and she said, so if she was, if she was, um, if she was a drink, what kind of drink would she mm -hmm. be? I remember reading yeah. that part. And I said, well, she was kind of sweet and salty and sexy. She'd be a margarita. So I kind of coined this term that she was a drink with legs. She was like my addiction, but she had legs. She was a human being. And uh, so the book is kind of formatted around the idea of Margaritavilles, what I called this attitude. When I went to a woman to make me feel like a man, I called it being, you know, wasted away again in mm -hmm. Margaritaville. I loved his reference. Right. I'm a huge Jimmy Buffett yeah, fan. Yeah. <laughs> so I worked for a couple of years and I, re and I worked on that issue of sourcing my life from another person and I started to to discover that I was sourcing from within, mm -hmm. um, that I could meet my own emotional needs, that I was connected to God, source, being, whatever you want to call it, um, and that that's where I could get those needs met mm -hmm. for loneliness, for specialness, for aliveness. So I, I took that job away from a woman and made it my own job. So as I grew and matured with that, I was able then to meet and date and marry uh, an amazing woman and create a healthy relationship, one that is virtually drama free because I don't ask her to do for me what I can do for me. Mm -hmm. So after I got in this good relationship, I, I started looking back and said, you know, I don't think I'm that unusual. I think a lot of people have a lot of drama, obviously, and they do for the Would same like reasons. <laughs> right. And they do for the same reasons that I did. So 
I decided to sit down and write a write my story. Mm -hmm. And the book lays out with a prologue, which mm -hmm. is, you know, I'm a disaster story. <laughs> and an like, epilogue. Is that really the Roy I met? Right, <laughs> right. And an epilogue where I was really on my honeymoon with this new woman and in a great relationship. And the book is how I got from drama to bliss. Mm -hmm. So what made you decide then from being a patient, so to speak, or having having a coach mm -hmm. for yourself to becoming one? And how, how yeah. did that process evolve? Okay. Well, I had always had an interest in spiritual relationship emotional issues. Even though for years I was a professional golfer, mm -hmm. I still had those kind of interests. The two years that I worked with my coach were so transformative for me um, that when I came out of it, I was like, you know, I want to give that back. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, my, I want to use my woundedness and my issue that I went through as a way to help other people. So it was, yeah, it was so powerful for me that I said, okay, this is what I want to do with the rest of my life is mm -hmm. I, I want to work with people who are doing the same things I did. They're creating bad relationships. They're miserable in them. There's well, Roy, if viewers want to get in touch with you, um, uh, read your book or sign up for, I know you do a newsletter, which mm -hmm. is really a fun read as well. How would they go about contacting you? Yeah, my website, uh, coachingwithroy.com. Um, fairly easy to find and on there there's you know I have a, a, a million articles I've written for various blogs and so forth um, there's some video on there there is um, a place where you can sign up for my newsletter on there and you can buy the book the book's only sold through the um, the website and uh, Roy has generously agreed to do a drawing for one of his books, A Drink With Legs. So one of our lucky viewers this month will get uh, the chance to read it and share it and hopefully make an impact on their lives. Yeah. So. Anybody who's interested in coaching with me can call me up and we can have an exploratory session at no charge. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to sign up to work with me before you've even met me. You know, So we can get together over the phone or in person. I do coaching by Skype. Well, thanks for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Great. Thanks for having me.